Hey, morning, afternoon, good night, whatever time you guys are watching. Welcome back to another one. Today I'm just gonna do a couple things real quick. So first I'm gonna make this quick snack. You guys already know the muffins or cornbread, whatever you wanna call it. That's for later. And then I'm going to also do a quick power breakfast. So yeah, just get straight into it. All right, so what do we need? I have some peppers right here. About five eggs. Uh, what else? Special. So far you guys just been seeing a whole lot of green as of now. It's my favorite color. You could make some, you know, standard 12 muffins. You could even go up to 24. I'm just gonna do the 9 by 5 inch up. In this pan that I have, which is right here. Since the last time I did it quite a lot to have a little more feel for it, better taste for it. I'm a little more familiar with it. Oh, I also need stuff to mix in right here. So that's that. Cutting board. Nice. In case, make sure parents are doing this, you know, doing the cutting and everything. You know, over the stove. Parents, make sure you're watching your kids in the kitchen at all times. Some oil as well. Okay. I'm gonna turn on the oven so it will be preheated when everything nice and toasty. The time between cooking will be a lot shorter. So, yeah. Also, got some milk as well. Okay. A little muffin first. So, for the muffin, you need a half cup of water, okay? One third vegetable oil, three eggs. So, you put the three eggs in, oil and the water into the mix, okay? And you mix it up properly, just put it in a pan. It depends on your oven, too. So, you put it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit oven for about 45 to 50 minutes. I'm gonna do mine for roughly an hour and then a couple times. So that's the time frame that gives me the best results. That's what I'm gonna do. So yeah, just get started. Get this open. Gonna mix in. Okay, I'm gonna crack the eggs now. That angle's not that good. Yeah, for me. I'll change it in a second. Bottle of water. So just pour the oil in. Water in the oil. As well, mix it up well. You guys could also add like any fruits or anything, any blueberries, whatever you want. If you guys have it, just add it. Let me show you guys real quick. So, this is how it looks. Mix it up. Continue mixing. Okay. Make sure you don't this part. Okay, so make sure you're watching your parents. Do this, don't do it yourself. And if you mix properly, you wouldn't see any unmixed pieces and mixed particles. Make sure you get all of it. Get it all in there. So. You don't have to do this part, but I just like to do it. Toothpick or whatever. To gradually check it. As time passes. Let me show you how it looks. This is how it looks. Now I'm gonna slide it into the oven real quick. Like I said, 350 degrees. Okay. There we go. 
yeah, so what I'm gonna do, take my toothpick. I have two of them because I know the first one usually gets dirty, so I'll do it twice. Make sure you poke it, stick it all the way down, and you pull it up. See the way this looks? Try and get it in focus so you can see. It has a little residue on it. See that? That means it's not right. So I'll leave it a little while longer. <sighs> Alright, going in again. And. Still a little bit of residue, so I'm just gonna leave it in. I'll say about 15 more minutes, and then it should be all set. And I'll just show you guys the end results when I take it out, okay? Okay, here it is, finally done. When I get back, I will cut it into pieces and stuff. And I'm just gonna let it cool like this until I get back. Okay, we're back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and. So it looks when I'm done cutting and also tastes really good too. Mm. And then thanks for watching. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up these edits so that you guys can get these. Alright, peace.